In this session what we're going to look at is how to create an alpha layer in Blender and render something so that it looks like it's overlaid on the top. You can see what I've got in front of me in GIMP is the brickwork texture and I've overlaid um, another layer, this layer here. Um, so I've overlaid another layer on top of it which has got some dirt and some stuff along the bottom to make the, work, the wall look more realistic. And what I'm going to do is do the same thing in Blender. What we need to do is we need to unwrap our plane here so that it's mapped onto our wall texture. I've already loaded the wall texture in and I'm in the image editor in the right hand window you can see here. UV image editor so we can go to tab and do an unwrap on that and I've just mapped the plane I've given it a little bit of edge so it doesn't extend right over it giving it a bit of margin and that will give us our UV mapping so we can now go into the node editor and create a new material I've got a material here but it's got nothing in it so I'm just going to remove that, remove that material and create a new one. There we go. So there's my new material. And you'll see that we've got a diffuse shader and we've got our output node. So first of all, we'll add the image texture. So we need to add the coordinates to that. So we'll take an input and go to texture coordinates. And we'll be able to use the UV that we've just mapped. So We'll add a texture to that, shift A again, and texture, image texture. We'll plug our UV into the vector, and then we'll open the file. And I'll select my brickwork texture. You notice I'm using a JPEG here, only because I've had a couple of problems using um, PNG data in textures. So I'm just going to use a JPEG for this. And remember that JPEG has got no alpha layer, so we're going to have to use um, the PNG when it comes to the alpha. But for the image texture itself, we'll just use the JPEG. And you'll notice that um, it's starting to map. So we'll put that into our diffuse, so color, into the color, and into the material output. And if we render that, we'll get straightforward brick wall that's UV mapped. Okay, that's fine. I've got my basic texture coordinate mapped. Now what I want to do is put an overlay onto that which contains the alpha layer. So I'm going to add the texture, the image texture. I'm going to line it up here. So I'm going to open that image texture. And I'm going to use this PNG here, which has got the alpha layer set. So I've created the image and I've set what was the white in the JPEG to transparent and then saved it as a PNG. So that should give me some level of alpha in that image. As always, I'm going to have to add a shader to that. So I'm going to put that as a diffuse shader and I'm going to take the color of that into that diffuse shader. And I'm going to take the UV coordinates, I'm going to take the UV coordinates the original mapping from the wall mapping and use that. The two 512 pixel images, so they should map quite all right. So once I've got that, I need to map this alpha section with my underlying diffuse shader. So I'm gonna add a mix node in here. So add a mix shader. And now this, this bit is the bit that makes a difference. So what we need to do is we need to take the overlay into the bottom slot on the mix shader. We need to take the original texture into the top slot on the mix shader. And then we're going to use the alpha from this PNG. So we're going to take the alpha output and put that into the factor. And finally, that can go onto the surface of the material. So just to go through that again, we're going to take the brickwork the underlying texture and put it into the top slot we're going to take the alpha texture 
and put it into the bottom slot and we're also going to take the alpha from this PNG file that has an alpha layer and put that into the factor so that when we render this what we get is this stain or dirt along the bottom of the wall. Now it's not great at the moment because the brightness and the contrast hasn't been adjusted. We can do that within Blender itself so what we can do is we can add a node in here to adjust the brightness and contrast. So let's just move these up a little bit and add a colour shader and in this we can adjust the brightness contrast. So drop that in you see if I drop it over the line it will connect it for me and I had a play around before and I adjusted the brightness to 0.95 and the contrast to 1.7 just render that again it's still looking a little bit dark um, play around with these settings so what I did was um, added some extra detail to the plane, I modified the brightness and the contrast in here, added a bump mapping in which we saw when we did the wall and if I open the file that I've been playing around with you can see here I've got something which is significantly better looking. So I've got my bump mapping, I've got a little bit of detail on the wall I've moved that texture down. You can see with the bump mapping now, it looks quite nice. It's actually rendered that dirt. I've moved it down a little bit and I'm just in the process of playing around with this curve down here and maybe doing a bit of bump mapping with this pavement. But it doesn't take much using this technique to give us something that looks quite good.